company can only be successful if we manage to make our clients successful. And our clients being building automation uh, specialists, BLS, BAS, as you call them in the United States, or IoT installers of, of, of sorts. Um, the question is, what is the most effective way in which a company like us, like Enon, can make a, a building automation company successful? And there are the obvious visible things like you know, sh you know, shipping product, educating around selection of product, technical support, payment, all of that sort of thing. But ultimately, I think there's a, there's a sort of bigger picture, like a, a top layer on, on things of how building automation companies capture value and, and really increase their, their value over time. And, and those things relate to uniqueness. So how do you build uniqueness in your company? Of course, you can, you, you can grow very quickly, and that's usually an indicator of you know, you're doing something right, and there's a value attached to a company. The bigger it is, the bigger the value. Uh, but I also think is how you achieve that growth that is important. So uniqueness, in, in my mind, comes in, in your ability to, to decide how, how you're designing those solutions, how much of it you get off the shelf, how much, how much of it you have an influence over what manufacturer is being used over another one. But not only that, because if you're just selecting different bits and bobs and you have to subcontract the installation, um, that can lead to other problems, you know, erosion of profitability and so on. So I think the key and the magic trick is to do both, is to have the skill to understand what's best for your client in that particular project in choosing manufacturers and then having the ability to self-deliver. So you know, having well-trained teams and, and engineers which are very comfortable to go in and install uh, multiple, multiple brands and multiple technologies. And I think that's ultimately what is going to make your company more successful. Um, but I'd like to hear your thoughts about it and how you view this, uh, this particular topic. And I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.